If you look up the definition of a metric in most textbooks, you'll see it's something like this. It's a function that takes two elements of your set to a real number and has some properties. These properties are meant to capture the essence of distance. What is distancy? Okay, well, distances are positive, right? We don't have negative distances. The distance from a place to another place should be the same as the distance from that place back, right? We can't take a detour to another point and then shorten our distance to our destination. And the distance from a place to itself is zero. Well, it turns out that this definition, while very nice and beautiful, actually has some redundancy because we don't actually have to specify that distances are positive because that follows from the other three properties that we put on a metric. This is how. So by the triangle inequality, the distance from x to y plus the distance from y to x is greater than the distance from x to x. This is for any two points, x and y. But since the distance from x to y is the same as the distance from y to x, we could write this as two times the distance from x to y. And that is greater than or equal to, well, this is zero, the distance from x to itself. And so in conclusion, the distance from x to y is positive. That does not need to be part of the definition. So the question is, should it be? Should we put something in the definition that follows from other parts of the definition? I guess ultimately it's a matter of opinion, but I think it should be there. Because I want people to intuitively see that a metric is an abstraction of distance. We all know in our hearts that distances are positive. So maybe it's best to have people get hit right off the bat when they see the definition that distances are positive. Even though, strictly speaking, it can be removed from the definition as it follows from the other three properties. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer a more concise definition where we remove this redundancy and just allow it to follow from the other three? Or do you think since it's a fundamental part of distance that we think of intuitively, it should be part of the definition? Matter of taste, let me know your opinion down below in the comments. I'll see you guys next time.